Parliament. Dear colleagues, it's been several years uh, for us uh, presenting our uh, cry ablation in liver at uh, us at this forum. But we decided to change the topic and share our experience in microwave ablation. You may ask why. Yes, we have cryoablation for uh, liver uh, tumors, uh, um, over 300 procedures for more than 250 patients. Cryoablation has a challenge. It's a lengthy intervention time. So just for one node, uh, for cryoablation, we need 50 minutes, uh, one cycle uh, of uh, freezing, fifth plus 15 minutes uh, of thawing and, uh, so, and um, repeat um, freezing. So, and when you have uh, several nodes, uh, you run out of time. It's a disaster. Therefore, we started to look for a faster methodology. Microwave ablation has advantages in this res respect. Thermal destruction uh, can uh, impact the node for a quicker time. Um, if it's a small size node, uh, just in five minutes. Uh, say, and if we install several antennas, uh, five minutes allows us to treat uh, two or even three tumors. Uh, and throughput of patients is higher within the smaller time. But there is a major disadvantage uh, if we compare um, Microwave and cryoablations, uh, intensive pain because uh, of uh, heated tissues. And because of this pain, we need uh, deep uh, sedation or even uh, um, complete anesthesia. Uh, and some uh, patients have counterindications for this type uh, of uh, uh, pain uh, uh, management uh, if the patients uh, are of um, distinguished uh, age or have some somatic pathology. Uh, deep sedation and uh, overall anesthesia, they uh, make difficult to deliver microwave uh, ablation because patients can't uh, not hold their breath. It's difficult to scan during the intervention, and we cannot position uh, well enough uh, uh, the um, uh, the markers. Uh, if uh, we user computer aided technology so they may result uh, anesthesia and deep sedation in uh, deeper um, complications uh, and then sometimes irreversible and it impacts uh, also the outcomes for microwave ablation standards uh, were published uh, by the um, CIRCE, the European Cardiovascular Interventional uh, Radiologists. It offers us uh, the criteria um, to be guided uh, um, for um, deep sedation and um, uh, regional anesthesia during microwave ablation. It says that we must uh, be sensible in choosing sufficient and uh, safe methods uh, of the pain management uh, uh, depending on the case, case to case. Uh, we do need different procedures, to, including ablation technologies delivered. Using uh, local infiltration anesthesia, if needed, uh, we combine it uh, with um, mm, conduct uh, um, anesthesia, regional anesthesia. Uh, what are uh, local regional anesthesia methods are new, known at uh, um, ablation? Uh, of course, uh, uh, we do it uh, through liver capsules. Uh, in 2013, uh, the right side for vertebral uh, anesthesia at uh, vertebral 7th and 9th thoracic vertebrals, the block, uh, the anesthesia of diaphragmal nerve, it used its post ablation period uh, to manage pain when working with the liver capsules and intracostal anesthesia, regional anesthesia, which is quite efficient if tumors uh, um, touch on the chest wall. There is a methodology known intra-arterial lidocaine administration. We do use it, uh, and other institutions use it to uh, cut uh, the pain during a liver embolization. Uh, and also at um, myoma, uh, embolization uh, myoma in women. But 
there were no publications in the literature for this method to be used for micro for thermal ablation. So um, we wanted to, to see uh, to consider the efficiency and safety of uh, thoracic uh, paravertebral uh, regional anesthesia uh, in uh, combination with um, um, microwave uh, ablation of uh, liver pu tumor, and we used uh, Siemens equipment for that. Uh, why we used uh, PDCT and uh, we promote it because uh, it has certain advantages. First, compared to spiral, um, the, the flat uh, uh, computer scanning has uh, the open contour of uh, high uh, both space and time resolution, and it is accessible uh, for practical uh, public health care because uh, all experts uh, um, institution do have this technology, and uh, the. Um, flat uh, CT, it's the only technology which allows to do stereotactics um, 3D navigation in real time. So therefore, it's a real alternative for spiral uh, computer um, tomography for everyday use. For materials and methods, uh, we used quite recently registered in Russia quite efficient system for microwave ablation, surblade vision medical manufactured in China. The procedure per se, so the patient uh, is pre, um, medically pre treated by medication, 100 uh, milligram of tramadol, and uh, he, um, he lies uh, face down with the symptomatic uh, innervation of uh, uh, liver delivered, uh, paravertebral right side um, regional anesthesia is delivered uh, at uh, vertebra 7 and 9. 100 uh, bupivacaine uh, is used for every level. As you see to the right is the literature source uh, which recommends that, and we control this uh, flat detection computer tomography. Then the uh, patient was turned face up, uh, and in the classical position, uh, the liver artery uh, was uh, uh, catheterized, and um, uh, we did uh, arteriography, uh, and then followed by embolization. This uh, technology is widely used. Uh, we have the main advantage in uh, imaging very small nodes that cannot be detected by uh, ultrasound and other methods, and therefore couldn't be treated efficiently. Prior to the microablation itself, when the antenna is already installed into the tumor, the liver artery uh, received 50 milligrams of lidocaine, and uh, we uh, delivered uh, parasympathetic uh, innervation of uh, um, vagal nerve, uh, colorectal uh, metastasis uh, of the patient, uh, small metastasis in these three projections, you can see the metastatic disease um, and uh, visual analog scale was used uh, to uh, guide uh, the assessment of intensive uh, pain intensity uh, analgetics uh, were delivered uh, if uh, pain was above four four marks uh, under the scale. You see the solitary metastasis has a six millimeters in diameter. And therefore, this tumor could not be visualized uh, uh, through ultrasound. Uh, and targeting was would have been difficult without this technology. And 15 patients uh, get, got uh, microwave ablation uh, at t for 25 uh, intraparenhematozic uh, uh, metastasis. Uh, the diameter was from 5 to 34 millimeters, uh, uh, meaning 14 millimeters uh, average uh, um, diameter. Uh, five, uh, so intensity uh, 1 and 5 uh, um, minute after, so the pain was uh, uh, between 1.7, 1.5, and 1.3 um, under the visual scale. And uh, opioid analgetics or deep sedations uh, uh, were not needed. And it allows us uh, to plan the trajectory for using different uh, applicators. Of course, here we used microwave antennas. Um, 
and uh, to be very exact of setting the antenna into the tumor, we need uh, a conscious patient, patient uh, who uh, holds breath uh, because we need to target uh, uh, quite precisely the node uh, of uh, six millimeters in diameter. We had this teamwork uh, and imaging, uh, uh, cooperating with the patient uh, helped uh, the scanning and uh, imaging. Complications related to local regional anesthesia, uh, like uh, nausea um, and um, sickness, uh, hypotony, uh, baricardi, pneumothorax uh, were not uh, observed. And here is to the right is uh, the installed antenna closed uh, to the node, and uh, it is uh, proved uh, that. Uh, um, Ablation will be quite successful. At the end of the procedure, we rescanned with the contrast, and you can clearly see that the node that was alive here in the center, uh, we see the necrot it is surrounded by necrotized tissue, and it is uh, far beyond the required five millimeters. It's uh, above. 10 millimeters. Conclusions. We proved uh, that thoracic uh, paravertebral and original anest uh, anesthesia and uh, interarterial anesthesia is an efficient method uh, for pain management uh, for angiographic assisted uh, microwave ablation for liver tumors, uh, and uh, there is no need um, in opioid drugs, uh, and safety uh, for intervention goes up.